is Monsieur Patrick Mackay. I'm Peter Mackay. And this is a winter poem, a poem about communicating at distance via phones, via Zoom, um, while the long, dark winter nights are closing in. Common. I'm a vahar er fala van an hips. It's a famic phonograph er vobile. Han javanye er fjogliovish. Hagas ketavai gish go mobile lo kome nyachtri. Sn lunch and chiloki. Enish kanyali each or thirty fars a meal. Skavo na kalmika fek in a kanyak. A ket in the snayan doroch tor of savavo. A brek of the government laid can try. Is he not tossed, shuk hum, is ho. Snatorchkin, slaughter in the longrich, ga tree, had ballon through all this mulligan hall. Common. My mother is gone in a hips and has to call back on her mobile. There's a power cut all over Lewis, and though she'd been in the middle of the common yachty's funeral lunches, now I barely have her attention. I can almost see her at the window ledge watching unpickable threads of dark pattern the village's long black drip to the sea, silent except for hums and haws, as torches and paraffin lamps flit twos and threes across Balanthrushal and Mulchenthal. I spent a lot of time in my life driving back and forth up the A9, back when it was an incredibly dangerous road. And I think there's a subgenre of literature about the A9. This is my contribution to it. In Tupasch. Shemina Nyaracha Haon, I was craving Kolochloni Foscal, and Grimman, Erin Larak Sahuish, Asanar Conrad. Get the Havlan Isakin, Gumbienchen, a skill of a mach who slid off in a stake, the gaken. A loch fiscal and maravaria for Nyoko you, or hide damach and a hur, Rinchevel Sagarig. Ham breakgown, I was a get. Snog vis beavana, Kachilich, I was in Brathan. A strep and aril and tall towel on a nachlashahele, Linkirtan. Hasho ule e kioloch e kuoch, en tishkis e chus e chunvloch re, e bruich tarbainen, e dreivig fjarschen, sru e ri troar stu buna choch. Na hatman hein kekloch choch e kurkar e riisht se riisht an an kech in de gomanolen agus charnan. Havain e charch an nashinig miele e ganish bochus na knoch. Solish Kashkin Live, Tochen, Toshin Fuskunche. Kurshinje a redoin, Kusna Kleinchen half Fisakin Hound. Near Korokan, Ratatat, Rakilikin Sturi. The Crash. It's mid spring, and the trees in Cluny Wood are in shadow. The lichen on the pine and larch not visible from the road though we know it will be there, creeping slowly along the trunks and the branches. Loch Faskali is, as it always is, or at least has been, since the Tummel and Gary were dammed. There are trout and pike. In June the gross will arrive and the salmon, climbing their ladder in blind will, jostling in their hundreds. This all means power, the water in its steady, unhurried course, pushing the turbines, driving mechanisms, a current carried through our basic matter. Atoms verily unsettled, tipping over again and again in swirls of domino effects and backlogs. The line of cars stretches out one, two miles now round the bend. Handbrake lights, open doors, cigarettes. We turn our radios off so we do not hear what we know is there. Our fingers rat a tat on our steering wheels.
This is perhaps a surprisingly angry poem. I don't write that many angry poems. Maybe we should have more anger in poems. There's too much love. Anyway, this is an angry poem and it's called In Both Gaelic and English um, Geographical Exclusions Apply and they run on to each other. To hear the Gaelic and an taith mór ir chrioch eitha da hirach gan an éirin from fire taith go gach corlug is na gí gan ag alanach na clash an acharach get na chroa ích ar gulliór agus fisg an chukas an míg an dron taith ag rothach nach bí a fatas an taith seo leis gan roa mar gach taith mór ili a taith jim as a chéla an vúloch gan roa na sglet na croch ag arar na cap ar fresoch na thlán yad a chéil na ta yig is it was lovely to hear the Gaelic, Exolus Jarak and Glen Coin, from the Stath Car of Slade Fair Shears and Yakas, Licker Ass, Gislethoch, Knap Cotton, if I stopped Seville and Bjorn from Balich Fiacle of E, and Cotton or Chandic Darak got on to, I was her mastrish in the Dulacan, Centralix and Nishgir on a Ruach, Rishis a Clash, Shears and it was lovely to hear the Gaelic on the chlo, 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 as an bifal and illense, a gear, gach trap of the fast che, and was fluch in a lime, marking becor a fesher of on, Rutho borrowed beach on such burning with the humler of the crack, not achmushen, it at the hastian, Gunavir and Suher and Scrobbuck, we jarak as to his gyal, to a gra at the fear of Lundunch and Kyo and a hill, mirror, mirror, mirror. It was lovely to hear the Gaelic. I came to the phone the grain, I got some British and lar lar by a bjaltin. I came to the crick and the gypsy and from the hat and ski and the knees, my clothes and toes and the faranor and joy pillar and the curtain and castle. But I can be playy of it. I be in launch. I can refuse airy truck and I can bounce truck. And it was lovely to hear the Gaelic and the sound scare. The glass and live the beach the evening. The Hulgorn, as in Thala, Suik Thala, as in Roar to Leon, as in Dorcas Akat, as in the name of Fresiri, Jinconi, Maravas, Maravias, Hanyonache, Achku, Fir, Hernan Town, a Dortal. It was lovely to hear the Gaelic in a big house on the border between two counties in Ireland where you could get help from both councils for cleaning the gutters, repairing the roans, even though it was. Never enough, and there was no doubt that the house was rotting, not long for this world, since it was, like every other big house, tearing itself apart from the top down. And the slates were hanging in air, and the corrugating roof beams were more full of holes than wood, and it was lovely to hear the Gaelic at a red light in Glencoe, where a car stopped and a man wound down his window and dropped gently a sop of cotton that had been stopped in a hole in his mouth where once there had been a tooth. The cotton now turning red, blue, black and swirling, chewing, masticating with the leaves and butts and the red rusted water running down the gutter towards. It was lovely to hear the Gaelic and the tweed, the tweed, the tweed from which the smell of this island rises each time you get both hot and wet at the same time, as if it was a marker of sex, something so barbaric and animal you could not keep it beside your skin in your armpits, between your thighs, without them being rubbed and scratched red and black and white, while you say between teeth gritted together, Mary, Mary, Mary. It was lovely to hear the Gaelic at the going down of the sun when the day breaks, till the day of the moon at the top of the cliff in Gippsland with the ski and Ochangus Macavolan through Aborigines over the edge, having shot them in the legs as if they were a plague or wounded animals. They weren't worthy of pity that were nothing but brutes. It was lovely to hear the Gaelic on the old tidal rock, the manacles biting into your ankles and wrists and the brine of the rising spring tide seasoning your flesh and no hope left but it being the time of the press gangs again as usual as it was and shall be. There are no surprises. A male voice murmuring over the waves. It was lovely. I think we're very lucky in the Highlands and Islands of Scotland that we have so much recordings, so so many um, visual and audio records of our past. Um, it is perhaps unusual to have so much access to what our grandparents or great-grandparents 
looked like or moved in however flickering a way. This is a poem in Gaelic about that, a prose poem, Pripyx Nthule, Punctan, about watching a film that was made in my village um, oh, 60 years ago now. Pripyx Nthule. Have you seen film or TV? Mounchir hiat ar fyrwch is gawson, cwtsiac a car jwch rhymen yn ddoi'r chorygyn. Yr chi'n creu'n cola yn yn talo fyrwch gwys ffilm eichgyn. Ech ai ei iawn ys yn sgyr ys na siadhan. Sir yn dda chwtsgu y thain eichgyn a'n cach yn parantyn, aos yn sianyrin agos sianyfyrin. Dda gwyn agos glwys yn ac y cafwr yr chawl ach yn ys. Siwys a'n yn sian yr sgrin yma o'r phrojectyr nes metlan chiche agus nes luia na fa cain ac ore. Hair an chanel sio a vies a shaltan gain chaun dain gain hyn ar ach reilach. Sio sio an cerif trip u hynnig mea agus ha mi a fehwyr sion an gerich. Nyr ham ffilm jesol agus iad a gianu aclaf yn le cwt agus iad yr yn ddoi mewn chain a chai ysglwg yr eich. Yr cwl gnoich Hama fahar hwyr cwrw ffalaf na sierigyn. This is about a tin I had in primary school full of words. Words I was meant to take home and memorize. In tin, the tin. There are families of Winskol who are meeting you shlevin thane, for an curin machl and scrive your scotty and paper. When you'll kain akmer in or hach, er got the rose of our usklach gun anamarin, is gneaver in a vaim a machas, a vrat and a leon. Irkal val of machanan. Y snaf gwysieri gyda chi chaelch na'm chiawn han tynu'r mirachach sgha cheid ysglwch gyn frichtig saelch. My grandfather, Calman Thaler, was a Thaler. Um, he was a kilt maker. He'd learned his sewing during the Second World War, and he was, I think, the the last um, kilt maker on the Ellis Guy to make kilts by hand. He was much in demand for this. This is a sketch of him in various ways. Depth Charges is the title of it, about the Hermesitis he would take in his tea. Depth Charges. Fy a granda da ti'n ysiach o'n chiardoch, gwys o'r sŵl yn y chlachgych, yn snail yn yr sgylchgych o'n snahad, agos y chwch eich yn lefi ced nioni, y fi eich nioni yr ôsglwch o'n spal. Sy'n dorchytus, fi ag effeckyn, croch yn snai ech y drwg ych yr yr ysgyn. Har o galeg ege, fa gwylio'r galeg ege ers o'n y cat sy'n con, gwys yn sgylch sy'n bydd ych gwys o'r ddau. Byrynga'n ni yn eich yn dda'r mahar. Fi'ch y gwyl yn samplwr yn brech yn y stiach yn y ffyr ffyr yn ffaag yn y gol tŷ yr o filis yr yn radiator. Hoog y'r depth charges y hyn. Fawns y chocci o'n yn Afrika a fi'ch y thorch dras yn tynnu mae yr eich hawl yn joi gael granu cyhloch yn esgyr laino ac fi'ch y gan cain ych eich mar na blian ych yn y siar gael fehe. Os na blian ych yn mae yr eich 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 sy'n sy'n eich atas yn dy hyche. Fa dyrwch â lwchrych ler y ddoroch yn y chyrch y rybse, nio pwt yn sy'n rho yn cwtsym cyrch. Ba nish sy'n y fan y fan cyrdoch, ffwyr ys lach jy le cain jy ei. Ba nish sy'n y fan jy a cwtsioch. Fyg yn anti macasar, ys lli byg sy ys yr chwl y drom agos ei a geis jwch rhi countdown nes yn yw mard. Na fawn troch ywns ych e'n microwave ys y gianw as unnys. Fi ych eich ein, my brother, son of est, a row of 40 medals on his chest. Gaha gol hein, 
Gjuvan en eil i sin snahech, var lenju og macha sin tøy. Snailen da eksjenach, og jarafuk tauen da eksjenach. When I was a child at primary school, we were sent around the village to record the old people in the village to get the stories from them, stories they were more likely to tell younger people than they might be adults. And this poem, Oral History, Bialarish, is a form of love letter to those people, I think. Bialarish. Nur stach in a clarich, le nu swarch to bri in my yachtri, la cro frockerochish on clues and clunye. Nur taltich in a hanik and illens and darn a hockig, this eich bullock na herich tu, aploch, geoloch. Nur trip a hoshik and nucklish a fat, il yawr trans na shacht tungan, a hohein agus tang to yea, der poste, srejach shave irash reached. Men eilear, as gunna vi a brian men eilear, bu viert an haken ur kod of kruf at the vehe, o vant o kutrae o chlapper, gu klapper. Mar va kunnerstoch a klan nien a vi a myer a vant o na nener. Bu ko gionte, sna misen na va itur duolaket, va behe vi kundinje. Men da i a vok eish de prenen, gus de graas a hlukig, gus de chemen ulokoch an trae a vilig. Agus, fjus në refaksin a nëll mëch kër falav, agus këjëshkën në bëndskotën, në kolëshën, në studuën, agus jasëshën është, agus pëtë, agus marav, marë hëjnë, le në është që brien, dhak kërë në setlikëg, anës a flywyd, yrë në stërë arënish, së në hanti më kasërsh, këtë fatë gjithë që këfëntërës fatë rëo vëkët të nësh, yrë irë në këtë mësk në kënohën jomën, anë ndrarën në këtë që ësklë kë bra, Dhe këndjakët e tre kënë yrë e fosu, kënër që hënkri që gërshqë, yrë në presoch, ljakën në skulleri, në traun së vën talë o pepër bala brekle tashë o këgës ljepënën, në gëshërë e këgës gëshkahënën, në rëshën të këvë që skilinën, e snotëkën, e gjullën që e fëhari që rëvën që këgës qërnëvach, a zë janë që fri mi arsh që gës kërinëch, gës në të lekë këgës patën tjigër, këgë bloj e gë Ësë në garë këllëhë, ësë shëf hëjmë a jëllëp. Klanjën në nëskahënën, kë gjallërë hës kërëpë që të varë jëf, të rësh mëllë më këssaullë gën ësë tërëfë që. Faklën, ha në shëk ëndëllëkëk, ësë tëllëkëk e këllë, e kërë kërëri të këshë që së gana vëkë, ësë tërëtë ullë ësë prëmësëllë, ësë me jërë i këllë dërëë e kësë në ësë, ësë mëkë kësë dërëfëtë e kërë gë A count in the hackery ra. Dutte, dutte. Gusen brishen la. Martha vishoch yara brua. Ik tion op terug in misknen levien. Agus she tan gul kan shorsha etriyal shashol. This is a love poem of a different kind. Um, for some reason, I don't write that much about writing, but I write about sex as metaphors for writing, rather than the other way around, which is, I think, more common. Inscrivitor, the writer. Must the catch in cola here trip, all she nor slee is jack and eich, agus le roost and jay strip poker like, hosh she nor screevich er a drumming, cup na bairo gear er a knes. Gusoch gar li mi strap and the vrau at hoolin, Gus jallafin borra bu i janu ar dy llinin. Hairuglifin y saifir yn y sgrochloch dy rŵn, Coerin gus gwrshin ach yr osch. Agus ma fiawn y lwbig siis dy thraish, Gan glwys y tas yn rad, Gus manam sy y sgrifich, Fon anam calfin clain, Yr mwloch dy vaas. Harwys am rhyw dy sgrifus yr mwchwl, Ach bydd y gwrsh gam sgrobig, Gwla lwain. One of the great things about writing is that you never know how it's going to be picked up. You never know where somebody is going to be reading your work, if they read it at all. Um, so I like imagining those situations. 
in sieke geschaar is een daan zo levig. Bion en thij schense, waar uur met thij schoor zag. Nyoke ju a haga varkertje geheen marschen. Liljaun en schier voor a ha uurgu tegen ze wies er schon grasch te roein. Of in jach illa en ach ver no tje skoe pas maar as innegi. Irrechkom, a kopper koele waar, furrechol, kunnen wie Ein of Chot in your Eshmalach. Have we kill on a kind of cure, Lagus, pure vimior, Kikian, and we hubbish Nathoike, as to read the Horak, Har Yaradoloch, Le Moch Prescavu. Is get the via signal Giorak to shun Prescavu, Googlekus, Bijamivu, have we gus a hain a howl, and a lark and neoch, no frach the vehe hain. Curium fackle frach. Agus sho ulle, kathorst, lishkunt a hoshi huach and gerrit if he chuck for him over beer. Gee, fatter to hool, how nisha kiss me hook mahas kujok. Was how a chin fash ger forners nistreek, is nistreek. Like after ach. Shinis korok of ruin sho, an impub aha, havor fadl, a guk lochten, a levig dan, de cree and nacht lush. How a fear in the shun. Tost, Rishinese Jurtu, Hachlani Schmidt. The ideal conditions for reading this poem. You'll be sitting in a bar that used to be a brothel, or at least that markets itself as such, with a continental beer that is new to you and will briefly be a favourite. There'll be no one else there but an attractive man or woman, delete as applicable working behind the bar, attentive, but not overbearing in their independence. There'll be no music, but the memory of music. And you'll recently have been thinking of a childhood trauma while running your finger over a familiar scar with a sense of prescavu. And though you'll have enough signal to Google prescavu and then jamais vu, you won't somehow get lost in news websites or the scrags of your life. The word scrags and everything will offend you, since of late you've doubted the purpose of existence, having left God far behind you now question goodness too, and find yourself close to violence with greater and greater frequency. Denny Fash, this is why you are here in a nigh-on deserted pub, nursing old wounds, reading a poem with a ringing in your ears. You're searching for a silence to listen into. You'll hear nothing. Sometimes I accidentally write poems that are almost autobiographical. Mahaurian Khofatasho. Mahaurian Khofatasho is kind you can do ears at their bike. Gus rad na mónia gól, sáchatr in lóch sa chránóg, trún na múlun an gáye, is tarsin yu mónchoch, gu farvil na clondaikers gu brá a rachka far a chóste. Far an tachur a rôd fáncal, le da vala drom a lán i eva an dóige, pákach space raiders, brigish corduroi, catalog freemans a gus great universal, fáclan maloch krúsinoch, is garamolchoch, an an yórch an sven hasel. A strategic and optic, he only can train Gian, Hecknolus can put your satchel, Frisch Kaskan Aster, Agus double think, Rulorok and Tlacho, Straj, Valle Lan Scutol. Er Heiser Tivamin Dorish, Buren Bike Akal, A Heile Dol Tuhol, on an Tavanar, on Sahar, on an Yachti Hunter of a Har. Bahurian Kofata Shaw, a skinge can Tagaraku Kutur Ko. The Han and the Valar Scherer Serash, a Kiet Hore Vakrek the Hunnerst, Gurutkan Kolokri Kind the Vahir, Rutukan, Runro Runo Yola Hotoike. As a Akatri Achek and a Tash and Sheer Hiri, Nach the Wosk Luhain, there's no hurt again as a view to Hiri. But the Krak and the Vro Veloskanen, Kain is Kentish on Pecky and Akatain no Akson in Lion Tolish. Ach shaw ulle sirin gut kehu mach, 
ma ger mon vor me rut pak ma haurien ge fatta sho hau jeun se ge vijele ge rivant en faskonche ma yaran kun vi sul kun khor dik shaget na ha kush na ha re ma haurien ge fatta sho shen fatta ko yor if you've got this far you must have borrowed a bike to make it past the loch and its cranog on the peat road through the turbines over the moor to the bay where Klondikers lie anchored offshore. Your backpack full of childhood icons, a packet of space invaders, corduroys, a rusted three iron, Freeman's catalogue and Great Universal, the Russian and German swearers of Sven Hassel. And through optic fibres, high-speed train links, computer and satellite technology, speeding and double-think, found this trash-filled street. On the curb outside the door, you'll have left the bike, one wheel spinning in dead air, in the unrelenting har, in the cultural history of that har. If you've got this far, you must have utterly changed who you are, switched languages and switched back at the first sign of threat or attack into something that will pass for a mother tongue, something you think you remember from when you were young. But now in the night damp of this forever evening air, you realise you've let fewer people than you'd care to admit possess you. Ripples welt up under your skin from the memory of your and their sins against the undimmable light. But all of this you can dismiss as the creating of unnecessary fuss. For as if you've got this far, you've learned to treat open wounds as scars, learn not to hope for the sea. Ignore the smooth, ignore the rough. If you've got this far, that's far enough.